Welcome to my uh, studio. Well, it's not exactly a studio, but uh, this is the area in, the, in our home where I have the best uh, light from outside to record uh, the videos that I make. And uh, today I would like to show you a little bit more about um, the papers that I used most of the times. So here we go. These are um, the papers that I used most of the time when it comes to coloring with um, a colored pencil or pastel pencils or soft pastels. Um, I also use some of the paper for watercolor painting, but to be honest, there is another paper brand for watercolor that I absolutely love, but I will show that in, uh, uh, in another video. This one is uh, the Schut paper. It is a medium fine texture and it's uh, they call it a sketch pad. It is um, very handy and I use it to make uh, drawings for tutorials. And um, I'll show you a little bit uh, how this paper works. I hope you can see it because I myself watched a lot of videos about different types of paper but I always find it difficult to to see on video what a paper actually is like. So the best thing you can do I think is just buy a small paper uh, pad and just try it. Now this paper has a, a little tooth as you can see because white, the white valleys are still shining through and I that uh, enables me to uh, put a lot of layers of color uh, on this uh, paper. And it will only be saturated after a lot of layers or a lot of pressure, like, a, like this. Now I am adding a lot of pressure. Still you can see a white area, so it's still not saturated. I use this paper for recordings of um, my tutorials, but I also use it for some other drawings that I like making. Like this one, for example, a leaf. Or some spring flowers. So I'm working on this one too. This paper takes it all very well, so it is not. Um, it is too thin to use it for watercolor pencils, so that is not recommended. But for all dry uh, pencils, it is uh, it is good. You can use watercolor pencil, of course, as long as you don't uh, add any water to it. Now this one, I use for. Uh, uh, pastel pencil or pastel um, soft pastel uh, crayons. It is Fabriano. You can get it everywhere on the world. I, I I think I will put a link on the uh, on the website if you are interested. The the paper I just showed you, the Schut paper. It is a Dutch brand, and I don't think this is uh, available anywhere else in the world. But I'll uh, I'll check it out for you. So this is for pastel, but you can also use it for uh, for uh, uh, colored pencils. And in this set there are several colors. There is black paper, and here is the black, the dark brown gray, 
a lighter brown there is a lighter blue some pink this looks like pink and there's another brownish one and here is a drawing I made with pastel pencils and uh, soft pastels it takes uh, the pastel pretty well and I'll uh, show you a little bit uh, about how this is working this is a Rembrandt uh, soft pastel just adding a little bit you can also uh, smooth things out so that's this really nice paper there's another block I like using it's a watercolor block so you can use it for watercolor watercolor pencils but also um, soft pastels work pretty well on it and uh, ordinary colored pencils do pretty well on it as well um, like uh, the first sketching paper I showed you the schut paper this one is acid free as well and that is important if you want to uh, to frame your drawings and I'll show you uh, with, with the last type of paper that I have here. Yeah, that is important, um, whether it is acid free or not. Now, I did a little bit of coloring with uh, the watercolor painting and I used um, colored pencils to make this. As you can see, there is uh, more texture in the, in the paper than in the, the other uh, schut sketching paper. And this is a lot thicker as well so this is very suitable for making artwork that you would like to um, display and it picks up a lot of layers of color so uh, this is uh, this is absolutely recommended i'll show you a little bit of how uh, a pencil works on this paper there's a stone here that can use a little bit uh, of color. So this is uh, a light touch that I am using. Now textured paper can help you to, uh, to create texture in the things that you are drawing. Stones always have a little bit of texture most of the times and it doesn't uh, it's not uh, it doesn't take you much effort to create it the texture when the paper has texture as well This is really beautiful paper. There is a little bit of cotton in it. And actually you can feel it when you draw because I think it has a softness. It gives a certain softness to the paper that I really like. This is a very versatile paper, so I really recommend this uh, if you, especially if you like uh, working uh, with uh, not only colored pencil but also watercolor or uh, other types, I don't think it will work very well for um, uh, Copic markers and stuff like that. But I'm saying it, and but I've never tested it, so maybe I should test it uh, first. So this is also from Fabriano, just like uh, the pastel uh, paper and um, it is available uh, 
almost everywhere. So now this paper is a different story. This is really cheap paper and I bought it just for the purpose of sketching. And this is not acid free. And I show you what happens with acid free paper once it is um, it comes into contact with uh, with sunlight. I made this drawing and I framed it a couple of months ago. And because of the sunlight that is hitting the paper, you can see exactly um, where the, the sunlight hit. I didn't color this square, the sun did. So if you decide to work on paper that is not acid free and you want to um, display it and frame it, then the paper will um, discolorize. Is that an English word? Anyway, um, so uh, take that into account. I th think that sometimes um, it is it it doesn't have to be bad if the if the paper changes color a little bit, but be be aware of it. Now I use this paper. For sketching, it's a larger block. It is um, in Europe we say A3. It's uh, like um, it's double A4, and A4 is almost the same size as what is in the U.S. letter, I think. So this is about twice, two times letter, and I use it for sketching. I mainly use it for sketching. Sketching, I sometimes make uh, complete drawings, but uh, these are all little sketches of flowers and leaves that I think I could use in uh, drawings. I'll do a little bit of coloring on this paper as well. This is what I did on the Schut paper. Now let's see what this paper is doing. This uh, sketching paper has a, is pretty smooth, so there's not so much um, tooth in it. And that means that it will be saturated much faster. And the look of the, the color it will be a little bit different as well. So let's see. It colors pretty even, I like that. Now let's see what happens if we press harder. Now when I press harder, I need to press a lot harder than on the schut paper and any other textured paper. Look, and the color is a little bit different as well. Let me see if I can show you that. Mm. I hope you can see it, but the color on the, the cheap sketching paper um, is uh, lighter than this one on the textured paper. And in order to get the same intense redness as here, I need to press so hard that small fibers of the paper are coming off uh, the paper. So I am uh, damaging the paper. Now that is of no problem for me because I use this paper just for sketching. So the, that is not uh, not a problem, but if I would like to make a drawing and uh, display it, uh, then a more textured paper would be uh, would be better. So these are the four uh, paper papers that I use a lot. 
So this is the sketch pad, the large one. The watercolor, Fabriano. The pastel, also Fabriano. Really good brand, really good. And the Dutch brand, Schut. So, um, this is it so far. There are more videos coming, but I, uh, I'm not sure yet so what they all will be about. I've had a lot of questions from people about doing tutorials on certain subjects. So I'm now uh, working uh, those ideas uh, into uh, video plans and then um, I hope I will be back with a coloring tutorial very soon. Bye bye!